Hello peoples, in this video I'm going to cover what is called the PIP coverage, otherwise known as PIP or Personal Injury Protection. Again, it's on your automobile policy. You've often wondered, what is it? Some people call it no fault, and it's often um, misinterpreted and misunderstood as far as what no fault means. Some people think, oh, it's a no fault state. That means uh, everybody pays for my damages regardless of fault. Well, no, that's not how that works. That <clears throat> That's not the case in most states. There are some of them that work that way. Again, refer to your state's law. Um, insurance is regulated by your state, and they set the parameters for how your insurance uh, policies pay, what the limits are, and so on and so forth, which makes it nice and confusing, especially if you want to play amateur claims adjuster. Uh, yeah, it's a stressful job because you got a lot of information to keep track of and the laws are changing quite a lot and uh, you need to be on top of all of it. Anyway, um, personal injury protection is what pays for your injuries. First and foremost, if you are in a car accident, you might know if you've ever been to the hospital for something, they have you fill out a form it uh, tells the hospital if you were involved in a motor vehicle accident because they want to go to them first. Why is that? Well, because your health insurance probably is going to pay secondary. At least they're going to try to. They'll say, no, 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 no. We're not on the hook for this one. He broke his leg in a car accident. That goes to his PIP coverage. And insurance companies like to only pay what they're legally entitled to pay. And they've got a lot of lawyers out there to make sure that they do only that. So your PIP coverage is usually set by state law as far as a minimum amount that you can have or are required to have. You can always buy more if you want. Most people don't because they have health insurance or they're just gambling that the other person has enough insurance to cover them if the other person is at fault. So, there you go. The reason it's called no fault is it doesn't matter if you're at fault or not. This PIP coverage is going to pay for your medical bills. It's not something that you have to argue fault with uh, the insurance company over. Uh, in order to get them to write a check for your uh, injury. If it happens while you're driving a vehicle and it can be proven that you were injured in a car accident, your PIP coverage will cover your medical bills up to that limit. After which, then it either rolls over to your health insurance or if you have a claim against the other party, then it would uh, go against them. And that's another whole whole uh, <laughs> ball of wax that we can get into later. Uh, I might do another video on the term subrogation. Subrogation means the right for an insurance company to be reimbursed by another insurance company for what they paid to you for your damages. And there's a lot of subrogation going on in the insurance world. That's what makes it so fun and interesting, getting into fights with other people over money. Oh yeah, it brings out the best of all sides of human nature. Ugh. So anyway, that's your PIP coverage, personal injury protection coverage. The basics, I think, boy, you could do hours and hours of video on this one item of insurance alone. In fact, Adjusters oftentimes specialize in PIP coverage and that's all the claims they adjust are PIP claims because it is such a very extensive uh, type of insurance with a lot of facets to it and uh, yeah a lot of uh, a lot of things you have to know 
to uh, to be a pip adjuster okay signing off for now bye